It's normal to worry about your investments, especially after 2022 witnessed major drops in both the stock and bond markets and early 2023 saw bank closures. Getting into investing at a time of such volatility can feel scary. Nevertheless, taking an investment approach that's appropriate for your particular financial situation and time horizon, and features the right asset allocation for you, means you won't miss out on any potential recovery. High Yield Savings Accounts Online savings accounts and cash management accounts provide higher rates of return than you'll get in a traditional bank savings or checking account. Cash management accounts are like a savings account checking account hybrid. They may pay interest rates similar to savings accounts, but are typically offered by brokerage firms and may come with debit cards or checks. Best 4. Savings accounts are best for short-term savings or money you need to access only occasionally think an emergency or vacation fund. Transactions from a savings account are limited to 6 per month. Cash management accounts offer more flexibility and similar or in some cases, higher interest rates. Certificates of Deposit A Certificate of Deposit, or CD, is a federally insured savings account that offers a fixed interest rate for a defined period of time. Best 4. A CD is for money you know you'll need at a fixed date in the future, e.g., a home down payment or a wedding. Common term lengths are 1, 3 and 5 years, so if you're trying to safely grow your money for a specific purpose within a predetermined time frame, CDs could be a good option. It's important to note, though, that to get your money out of a CD early, you'll likely have to pay a fee. As with other types of investments, don't buy a CD with money you might need soon. Money Market Funds Money Market Mutual Funds are an investment product, not to be confused with money market accounts, which are bank deposit accounts similar to savings accounts. When you invest in a money market fund, your money buys a collection of high-quality, short-term government, bank or corporate debt. Government Bonds A government bond is a loan from you to a government entity, like the federal or municipal government, that pays investors interest on the loan over a set period of time, typically 1 to 30 years. Because of that steady stream of payments, bonds are known as a fixed income security. Government bonds are virtually a risk-free investment, as they're backed by the full faith and credit of the U.S. government. Corporate Bonds Corporate bonds operate in the same way as government bonds, only you're making a loan to a company, not a government. As such, these loans are not backed by the government, making them a riskier option. And if it's a high-yield bond, sometimes known as a junk bond, these can actually be substantially riskier, taking on a risk-return profile that more resembles stocks than bonds. Mutual Funds A mutual fund pools cash from investors to buy stocks, bonds or other assets. Mutual funds offer investors an inexpensive way to diversify, spreading their money across multiple investments, to hedge against any single investment's losses. Index Funds An index fund is a type of mutual fund that holds the stocks in a particular market index, e.g., the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones Industrial Average. The aim is to provide investment returns equal to the underlying index's performance, as opposed to an actively managed mutual fund that pays a professional to curate a fund's holdings. Exchange Traded Funds Exchange Traded Funds, or ETFs, are like mutual funds in that they pool investor money to buy a collection of securities, providing a single diversified investment. The difference is how they are sold. Investors buy shares of ETFs just like they would buy shares of an individual stock. Dividend Stocks Dividend stocks can provide the fixed income of bonds as well as the growth of individual stocks and stock funds. Dividends are regular cash payments companies pay to shareholders and are often associated with stable, profitable companies. While share prices of some dividend stocks may not rise as high or quickly as growth stage companies, they can be attractive to investors because of the dividends and stability they provide. Keep in mind, dividends in taxable brokerage accounts are taxable the year dividends occur. Whereas stocks that do not pay dividends are primarily taxed when the stock is sold. Individual Stocks A stock represents a share of ownership in a company. Stocks offer the biggest potential return on your investment while exposing your money to the highest level of volatility. These cautionary words aren't meant to scare you away from stocks. Rather, 
They're meant to guide you toward the diversification that buying a collection of stocks through mutual funds provides, as opposed to buying individually. Alternative Investments If you're not investing in the stock, bond or cash equivalent instruments listed above, there's a good chance your investment is part of the alternative assets class. This includes gold and silver, private equity, hedge funds, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, and even coins, stamps, alcohol and art. Real Estate Traditional real estate investing involves buying a property and selling it later for a profit, or owning property and collecting rent as a form of fixed income. But there are several other, far more hands-off ways to invest in real estate.